I'm here with Peter Jancarek from CSAME in Slovakia. He's going to tell us a bit about his chatbot, which teaches individuals how to spot disinformation online. Hi, Peter. Tell us, tell us a bit about it, how it came about, um, how it works, and yeah, it, whether yeah. or not it's successful. Uh, well, if, if you can some, say. <laughs> some it is. Well, it, it was kind of an experiment, but, we, but, it, started with, uh, but it started to work. Uh, and we have some learnings from the past one and a half years that we've been working on that. Uh, it actually tries to mirror uh, our, our workshops. So it's impossible to, to do in-person workshop with thousands of people. Uh, so, we wanted to, um, so we wanted to engage people uh, in, uh, in discussion about what's a relevant piece of information and what's, what's bullshit. And we we are obviously we, we we cannot tour the whole country and and do these workshops in person. So we wanted to mirror these workshops or to some extent bring them down or scale them down to to an algorithm. So we created an algorithm that basically it can't tell you what's true and what's what's false. Uh, we don't have tel technology for that. Um, even the most sophisticated uh, artificial intelligence cannot really tell you now what's true and what's not. And uh, also the definition of truth is, is, is fairly complicated. So, so it's not possible to do that. But what we wanted to try is to guide um, the audience, uh, the user, to spot like fishy uh, features of, of, of certain pieces of information that, that and, and help them distinguish what's what might be true or relevant and what's probably not true or relevant uh, by themselves. So checkbot doesn't tell you this is true or this is false. It will just guide you through the um, like um, cognitive process that you should make uh, to judge uh, what's true yourself. So it still so, lets you do it and have your own opinion and and do things yourself. Exactly. So, so when you so when you visit him or fire up your conversation in Messenger, he will ask you, "Hi, I'm Checkbot. Can you send me the link that you want to check?" And you will just paste uh, the link to the chat. And what uh, uh, he does first is checking our conspiratory.sk database. So, if the article appears on a known disinformation site and warns you. He will not tell you that um, don't trust this because it's disinformation site. He will just tell you, you should be more careful because I found this uh, particular server mm. on, on our list of disinformation sites. That's the first check. The okay. second check is a picture. Uh, so it, uh, it does a background check of Google image search uh, to see if the same picture wasn't used on other disinformation sites because they usually manipulate with, with a picture, not with a... Uh, not only with with words. The second, the third thing, the third step of the check is um, uh, he looks for uh, suspicious keywords like uh, liberal fascist or libtard or LGBT pervert or whatever. All, all these kinds of like loaded words that that's usually were, uh, used by this information scene and and, and it just. Uh, this information scene. So and it will just give you a short report. Okay, I found this fishy words in the article so you should be maybe more careful uh, and then it will just guide you through uh, some q a uh, so if you can see author here if, it, if the, the article is not anonymous uh, if it's inside fear or hatred um, so if it tends to polarize the, the audience and you will just answer yes and no and, and he will give you so you can you have to do your own assessment because there are some things that you cannot do technologically, you have to ask the user. So we ask the user these kinds uh, of questions, and then it, it shows you a summary of what what's what's wrong or what's right with the article. Uh, so and ask you for another link or share share it with with a friend, or, and sends you a funny gif. Uh, so and that's that's what it, what it does. But that's only one part of Checkbot. So this is the algorithm. So this is basically he is serving as an algorithm. He is serving in a chat. Uh, it's a machine in a chat. But at the same time, it's a Facebook page that is controlled by human being. Okay. And that's the, that's another important thing that we do. So we do a regular debunking posts. Oh. On, on uh, and and also our 
our social media manager Tomas is uh, also uh, using Facebook as chatbot sometimes. So he's also engaging in conversation as chatbot. So so it sounds like it's um, the algorithm is quite a, a learning tool then, really. Exactly. Exactly. You can use it just once. You don't need to like you. 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 We don't encourage users to be a slave to the algorithm. We don't want them to, like, like labor in a way that that every single link they find weird sent to the to the algorithm. It's just fine if they take it once or twice just to learn the thinking. The, the cognitive process of, of, of uh, spotting this information themselves. So we don't want them to use it every single time they find something suspicious. We want them to learn the process to distinguish themselves. So we are totally fine if somebody uses only once or twice because we believe or hope that they uh, they learned how to spot this information themselves. I don't think it's it's good to encourage people to turn to technology or to algorithms every single time. Very true. Uh, because we are, I think we let algorithms to to shape our world already too much. So I don't want to solve the problem with creating another one. Uh, so it's just a learning process, as you said. It's basically it's 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 trying to have workshop with with thousands of people at the same time. 